Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to in install a short RAM slash cold air intake on a Mark III Jetta 2.0. To do this, it's very easy. You just have to remove the airbox and put your new filter and accessories in its place. The tools you're going to need are a pair of scissors, a Phillips head slash flathead screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a Q-tip, and a zip tie. You're also going to need your air filter. Uh, for this upgrade, I'm using a Spectre air filter. It's found at AutoZone. It's the basic model of these with a 3-inch inlet. To connect it all together, you're going to have to have a 3-inch to 3-inch coupler and a short little 3-inch inlet outlet tube. Uninstalling the air box is quite easy. The first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew this hose clamp until it's loose and then disconnect the intake hose from the actual air box. The next thing you want to do is, if it's not already, you unplug this orange hose from the air box and just set it aside. You're going to want to unhook the MAF sensor. Just unplug the little hook cord here. And then down here, you'll see that there's a little hose. You just undo it from the airbox and set it aside for now just underneath great next down here there are a couple little rubber things just keeping the airbox hooked on you can disconnect those they look like this there are two of them one here and one there And the last thing you're going to have to do is disconnect the warm air hose from the air box. It's down here. It's attached with the hose clamp. Once everything is disconnected, you just pull the air box out. Once your air box is disconnected, you want to disconnect the MAF sensor from the actual air box. To do this, you have to take an adjustable wrench and take off two bolts, one here and one here. Once you disconnect the two bolts, that MAF sensor comes right off. Your next step is assembling your short RAM intake. You take your 3 inch inlet outlet hose and attach it directly to the air filter. It fits right in. Once you get those connected, tighten the hose clamp on the filter, getting a tight fit on the tube. Your next step is attaching the MAF sensor to the 3 inch coupler. You make sure you have the right side up on the MAF sensor and take one of the sides of the coupler and attach it like that and tighten the hose clamp. As soon as you have those connected, you take your filter and the coupler with the MAF sensor and attach them like that. Once you have the hose clamps tight and nice, you should have something that looks like this. The MAF sensor on the end with the filter on the other end. There are a few things you want to do before installing your new filter setup. The first one is taking this hose that you took, that you disconnected from the air box, and zip tying it over here. Because if you don't, it'll rub against the alternator belt. And I've done that and it frayed a little bit, so I don't want that to happen anymore. Once you have it zip tied, you can cut the excess and it'll be ready to go. The last thing you want to do before installing your new filter is taking this orange hose that you disconnected from the air box and sticking the end of a q-tip in it. What this is is a vacuum line that uh, tells the engine whether or not to put warm air into the air box instead of the cold air but it's not very important so you can plug that and then cut the excess q-tip away like that. Then you can stick the hose over here and it'll be fine just there. Your next step is attaching your new filter setup to the original intake hose. You take your short ram intake, put it onto the intake hose, and then tighten the hose clamp. Once it is tight to the MAF sensor, you connect the cord back to the MAF sensor and you are ready to go.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to install a short ram slash cold air intake on a Mark III Jetta. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again.